hey guys i'm back with another video hey guys welcome back to the channel yes i am back with another video hey guys welcome back to the kitchen okay yes we are having stuffed cheesy bell peppers tonight the way that i cook them okay um i wanted to get all, all colors but all they had were red and green so we'll work on these later but these are the bell peppers i've already chopped some uh, celery green onion and a white onion in here and i have some garlic right here because we're going to saute this in a minute okay i'm going to start out with a package of dj's rice dressing mix i get this whenever i'm in texas um, but i was last in louisiana so i got it there can't find this type of mix here but this will be my base i'm also cooking some more rice i have some gizzards that i've already boiled i'm going to chop those up the chopper I have some livers that I've seasoned and boiled. I'm going to chop those up. All right. So this is the base for the rice dressing mix that I'm going to use for my stuffed bell peppers, which will be topped with cheese. Okay. All right. Let's get the uh, veggies on and let them start sauteing. And then we'll get the ground beef and the pork sausage. That also goes in it. I forgot about that. Okay. Going to have some meat in it. Yes, we will. All right. I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. Let me show you guys this real quick. Okay. So just a regular package of pork sausage and then about a pound of ground beef, okay? And then these are the cheeses we're gonna use. We're gonna use some Kobe Jack, some Gouda, and some mustard. They melt really well. And these, let me tell you guys, these bell peppers, I've made them several times. A couple of people have purchased them from me before. They really like them this way. So we'll see what you guys think, okay? Let me know if you make them and how you do yours. All right. Let's get started because I am hungry. All right, guys, let me show you this real quick. So I've already chopped up the um, livers. I didn't chop those up in here because they're a little bit softer. So I chopped those up and I have a few gizzards in here. I just want to show you how I'm going to do this, okay? So you want to chop them up until they're fine. about like that, that consistency. Well, yeah, that'll do. Me and this thing have the hardest time. I don't know, can you guys see that? All right, let me get through with this and I will bring you guys back, then we'll saute our veggies, all right? I'm almost done, guys. Still chopping up the gizzard. All right, that's a good consistency right there. Take that blade out of there. You can actually just pour them in here like that. All right, and again, I chop these up by hand. All right, let's get the veggie sauteed, okay? All right, guys, so I have the veggie sauteed and I have the sausage in here right now. So I'm gonna add a little garlic powder, some onion powder, a lot of the same seasonings that I use, uh, parsley. Oregano. We'll add the beef in a minute. Some ponies, the black pepper, and we'll probably have to add more seasoning. I just want to put a little bit on here while it's sauteing. Italian seasoning. I'm going to add some red pepper flakes. Go ahead and add the ground beef now. And I didn't add all of the pork sausage, but I'm adding all of the beef. I want to add a little 
little bit more seasoning since I added the beef. Some more tonies. The onion powder and my garlic powder, of course. Want it seasoned well. Black pepper. A little bit more parsley. Now I'm going to go ahead and add that garlic I chopped up. I'm going to add the garlic last because you don't want the garlic to burn. We're just going to let this cook up. Then we'll have to strain it. Strain it, drain it. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. Okay guys, so the meat has been drained. I'm going to add that packet of uh, rice dressing mix you guys saw. This rice isn't, it's like parboil. Well, it's cooked al dente. Let me say it like that. Okay. And the juice we'll use is from the um, the rendering from the gizzards and livers that we boiled earlier. And I did cook some more rice that I'll add to this, which I didn't cook it all the way. Okay, so this is your rice dressing mix right here. Cajun rice dressing mix is what I like to call it. Okay. All right, we got that sort of mixed in there with that. So that was the rice dressing packet mix that I had, and I've just added it to my veggies and my ground beef and the pork sausage. What I want to do is get a little taste of this and see what it's tasting like. Mm -mm. Y'all, that is so good. I'm gonna add the livers. Oh my goodness, that's good. This is how you make boudin too, pretty much. Add some of the gizzards. I'm making more than enough stuffing. I'll put some up. My sister likes it. She'll probably bake it. Now we're gonna add some more rice, the rice that I cook. Long grain rice, you wanna use long grain rice, okay? Don't worry, we're gonna add a little sauce to it here in a minute, okay? Some more rice. Now let me pour some of these juices in there. Then if you were just making rice dressing or dirty rice completely, you would just bake this completely together, okay? Instead of putting it in your bell peppers. Get a little more rice and a little more juice. You don't want it to be too, too loose now but you need it to have some juice in it. I'm just gonna have to eyeball it. I know you guys can do that part. Let me get another spoon. All right, let me see what this is tasting like. I'm gonna add a little more tonus, but guys, when I tell you this is good, some oregano, some more parsley, and I seasoned the livers and gizzards before I boiled them. 
because you don't want to just put them in here with no i'm adding some more onion powder and garlic powder i'm adding a little bit of everything as well as a some more red pepper flakes and black pepper oh this is going to be good Like the rice dressing, you might get it. A dirty rice Popeyes or somewhere, huh? And this is pretty, you know, everything is pretty much cooked. Except for the rice still has a little bite to it. So this is going to bake and get extra yummy inside those bell peppers. Alright, I think that'll do it. Let's get the bell peppers ready, okay? Alright, guys, I'm back. I've cleaned out all of the bell peppers except one for time purposes. I want to show you guys how I did just one of them. I don't, let me see. Can you see? Okay. I'm trying to keep them all together with their little caps. So what I do is, make sure you can see this. You want to cut it, but you want to try and keep this little thing here in the top intact. Then you just clean this out as best you can. Get all the little seeds out of there. And that's if you want to use the tops. You don't have to. I think it's pretty when you have them baked and they have the little caps on them. Like I said, you just want to clean this out really good. Okay. Gonna rinse it off as well. I've already rinsed all of the other ones off. Okay. All right. Then what you do, piece of bell pepper there. You go and you just clean out the inside, but don't put a hole in it, okay? Clean your filling out, the filling of the bell pepper, all that excess white pepper out of there. Get that out of there. Okay. Get that all out of there. Gonna need a good sharp knife. And if you do these another way, let me know. You know, let me know how you do yours. Because maybe I'm doing it a way that could save me. You're doing it a way rather that could save me some time. Because that's why I don't make these that often. It's a little time consuming. Because you want to get it right, you know. Okay, you see I'm cleaning that out. I think I got, uh, I'd like to try to get everything out of there. All right, let me rinse this off. Right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to put our filling in each one of them, okay? And you want to stuff them real good with this seasoned stuffing mix, all right? Look at that. Pack them down, pack it down in there. Okay. We're gonna set them in here. I hope you can see that. Okay. It's an extra piece of bell pepper there. You know, sometimes those bell peppers have those strands in them. Take those out. Okay. And you could parboil these bell peppers in some hot water. I didn't. I'm just going to cover them up with foil paper and let them bake. But you could do that and it'll save time as well. 
But yeah, I have more than enough mixture, as you can see. In fact, I think I can bring it up here now. Okay. I have some room now. All right. Put that one in there. Okay, let's go for another red one. These are gonna be so good, guys. I've gotten a lot of compliments on these bell peppers. I know, I don't know, everyone may not eat them, but I like them. Okay. You just keep stuffing. Look at that. Get enough in there. This mix is so good, let me tell you. I mean, do you guys eat livers and gizzards? I like them fried as well, I love them. And you really can't tell they're in here. I mean, they're chopped up so fine. Unless you told someone they would think this was all ground beef and pork. But I don't like to surprise people with what they're eating because I don't want to be surprised eating some spare ribs and you tell me it's some deer ribs <laughs> or some other type of wild animal. <laughs> I want baby backs. <laughs> Nothing against the deer lovers, you know, hey. It's not my thing. Okay. I like to pack it because when these bake, they shrivel up. So I want them to, I really want them to stay together and stand up and remain nice and pretty. Yeah, it's going to be some mixture left. My sister will probably make her some pep bell peppers. Her and my nephew, he loves these. Okay, get that one in there. Last one. Okay, we have them stuffed. All right, guys, I'm gonna get these in the oven and bring you guys back. I didn't show you guys what they look like. Okay, here they are, all in the pan. What I'm going to do, is sprinkle just a little pepper over the bell peppers because you know they're not really seasoned. The, the mixture that's inside of them is seasoned. There you go. Give it a little flavor. Now I'm going to cover them up. And get them in the oven on 375 for about an hour, okay? All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, they are finally out of the oven and ready for the cheese, okay? All right, so what we're going to do is the Kobe Jack, the Monster, and the gouda, okay? So that I don't get them confused on which top goes to which one, I'm gonna do them one at a time. So, gonna put a Kobe Jack right there, and a Kobe Jack right there, okay? And I may put two on some of them. Okay, this is the monster. Don't want to come out. In fact, I'm going to put monster and Kobe Jack on both of these. This cheese is a little thin to me. Okay. This one, let me get a slice of Gouda and a slice of Kobe Jack. And I told you once they cook, they would shrivel up a little bit so they're not as 
firm, but I'm trying to keep them nice and neat in here. Okay, let's come back here. They smell so good. Mm -mm -mm. Toby Jack and some Gouda. We want them nice and cheesy. Again, if you don't want cheese, you don't have to put it on there. Okay. Gouda Monster. All right. It's looking good. This um, monster keeps breaking up. Okay. Come back here. We'll put a Copa Jack on there as well. Yeah, they're leaning over. They cook. They're nice and tender. These are going to be so good. Got to dig down in there to get that cheese in there. I'm going to get it on there. All right. They look so good with the top still on them. Last one. Oh my goodness. These things are a meal within themselves. Because <laughs> I stuffed them really good. Nice and tender. They're already melting. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Gonna get these back in the oven and come back. It'll be time to eat, all right? Okay, guys, they are out of the oven. The cheese has melted. Can y'all see it? Okay, it is time to eat. All right. I am back. This bell pepper right here is stuffed so full, it's having a hard time standing up. So let's bless the food and go ahead and put it out of his misery. <laughs> Bless this food that I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. Amen. All right, guys. You saw it. We are having stuffed homemade bell peppers topped with cheese, different varieties of cheese. Then I have some of my leftover cabbage and uh, cucumbers here in the middle. Not cucumbers. Cabbage and turnips. <laughs> and some HTO, H2O. Who said about time? <laughs> I drink water. Oh, yes, indeed, honey. Look at these stuffed bell peppers. What y'all think of the recipe? All right, let's cut into this. They are nice and tender. Stuffed with dirty rice, Cajun rice dressing, dirty rice, whatever you want to call it. And you can see they shriveled up, so they're done. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all, that's good. And you know, um, you can stuff your bell peppers with whatever you want. Some people stuff them with a tomato-based uh, stuffing, and that's fine, too. I'll eat that as well. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And this cabbage and turnips go good with it. And you know, I put the um, livers and gizzards in there. Mm. Some of you may not like that. I don't know. I love livers and gizzards. If you don't, <clears throat> you don't like it, just omit it from the recipe. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. Mm. That's good. Yes, indeed. Mm, mm, mm. So, how are you all? How was your Monday? I hope you had a good Monday. I did. Mm. 
I hope you had a good Monday and the rest of the good work week. It's going to be a busy one for me. I have a couple of orders. I have some people here, Puff Puff Gang members that are local, and they want some delivering cakes, one this week and one next week. I'll be glad when I can figure out the shipping because I definitely want you guys to get them in the other states, and I'm going to figure it out, okay? Mm, 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 mm. But the sauce, I can ship. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Aren't they pretty? What do you guys think of that? None of the green ones had the little stems on them. <laughs> I don't know why. Look at that rice dressing. It's just... Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, this is good. I love rice dressing. I always get the um, dirty rice whenever I go to Popeyes. They have good rice too. Mmm. 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 Delish. Mmm. Guys, ladies and gents. Is this your first time stopping by Philly Fields channel? Thank you for stopping by. I need you to like this video. Give it a thumbs up. You gotta love these stuffed bell peppers, okay? Now make sure you hit that red subscribe button and then ring that bell so that you will know whenever I drop a video, okay? Now share this video. Let everyone see these stuffed bell peppers. They might want to try the recipe. Come on, help me get there. Oh, I'm so close. I have another week and a half like you guys gave me, we'll be there. Mm-hmm. Yes, we will. Yes, we will, honey. Yes, we will. Yes, we can. See, say pretty. Well, however you want to say it, we can do it. Mmm. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. So, my sister did come over and get the cake, most of it. Her and my niece and nephew and some uh, some of the leftovers from yesterday. Came in here with a waist strain on, talking about she headed to the gym. Packed up the cake, then ate a slice before she left, talking about she was gonna work it off. I say, okay, Anna May, keep eating that cake. <laughs> I mean, she had that waistband on wrapped tight, y'all. Ain't gonna get. Oh, let me let me get a piece right here, right now. <laughs> that was funny, <laughs> but I guess she was going to the gym so she could go work it out. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I guess I'm guilty of that once upon a time in my life too. I don't think about these, they do fall apart, or maybe I just stuffed it so full it can't help but fall out. Mm. Y'all, it's good. It's definitely good. Let me know if you've ever made stuffed bell peppers, if you're going to try this recipe, or do you like them? Let me know. I certainly do. I still could have used a piece of fried chicken or something with this. Should have got me a piece of that steak. But I can taste the meat in here. I did put I put ground beef and pork sausage. You could leave the sausage out if you want. Or you could use turkey. Good thing about this dish, you can stuff it. You could, it could be a, just a veggie, you know. You could do whatever you want with it. Make it your own, okay? Make it your own. You can do that. These turnips are so good. They bring out these bell peppers. 
and stuffed rice dressing. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. No, I can't eat two. I just want to plate three full. <laughs> One is enough. Mm-hmm. Mm, this is good. Mm, mm, mm. So good, guys. Oh. Well, I'm glad I was able to get a video in for you guys today. It was kind of hard, but I came home and something that I used to film with, my videos was on the floor, completely just, I thought it was demolished. I got kind of sad. I was like, oh, I worked so hard getting it up. But my sister came and they helped me fix it and get it back up because I wasn't going to be able to film tonight. Then the tripod that I really love to use the clip that holds the phone part, it broke. So I had to doctor it back, order me a new one. Like what in the world? Who don't want me to film today? I'm on a mission. Okay, that right. Don't you guys want to see me every day? <laughs> Give me some suggestions of something you want me to cook. One of your favorite dishes. Let me see if I can do it. Leave it in the comment section for me. I read my comments and I try to answer them. Mm-hmm. I sure do. I was reading today. I think it was somebody said they were a retired retired postal worker and after watching me, they were ready to get back and start cooking and get on up. <laughs> I think it was Celestine Moore, maybe. Shout out to her. I think it was her. <laughs> Honey, you retired. Enjoy it. I'll cook for you. Just come on over to Philly Phil's Kitchen and we can sit down and chit chat, okay? Mm-hmm. Come on over. Tell me what's going on. How you doing? I cook for you. Come on over. I appreciate y'all so much. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. mm y'all know I do? I said enough, huh? Oh, that was good. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Guys, again, thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for supporting me, bench watching, sharing all of the good things that you have been doing. Mm. You know, I appreciate it. I needed that. Thank you. Ooh. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial of my version of stuffed bell peppers. Again, you can stuff them any way you want. This is just how I made them tonight. All right, guys, I'm going to get on out of here so I can get on ready and go to work tomorrow and see what we can come up with tomorrow, all right? See you guys later. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me say this. As I always say, you never know where Philly feels going to be. Who I'll have in the kitchen with me, what I'll be cooking, okay? What city or what state your girl will pop up in, you just never know. But one thing you do know, you're always welcome in Philly Phil's kitchen, all right? Love y'all. See you later. Yeah, yeah.